Please welcome Judy Greer, everybody. Judy Greer. Judy Greer, I have not seen you in an age. I know, it's been a long time. When was the last time you were on this show? I have no idea. It was maybe, um, maybe, let's were say... Were you I? Were you smoking marijuana the last probably, time? Probably, probably. No, yeah. I know that I had a different color hair, so it could have been over three years ago. I, I had a different color hair, probably, I didn't well. want to say anything. Yeah, my, I've, gone, I've gone completely gray. Some Good of it on you. my head. <laughs> I heard that happens. Oh, yeah. But it goes gray everywhere. It goes gray everywhere. Oh. Yeah, you look awesome. very distinguished down below. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, that, that uh, Ashton Kutcher, he's not got his clothes on. Now. I know. It seems to me there's almost a plan involved there with the Two and a Half Men show. Yeah, yeah. He looks good in a towel. If so. you like that kind of thing. I, yeah. I do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I kind of do mind too. It. So, oh, he, he looks good. Do you like muscly men? I, uh, I don't know. I like men in general, and he's one that I enjoy. I don't think they all have to be muscly. I mean, there's a certain kind of muscle that I don't like. Not to alienate, like, super muscly guys, because that seems awesome. I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Well, I mean, is there a, any, when you say there's a muscle that you don't like, is there any particular like muscle on the body? Like, if you're wider than you are tall, I'm yes. not in. You're not in. If you that. have no... It's, it's the neck right. thing, isn't it? You're it's talking the about neck. the neck thing. It's the yeah, neck. I, know. I yeah. can't. I did. I, one time I got set up on a blind date in Chicago when I was in college, and and um, the guy was talking on the phone with me, and he was making pasta or whatever, and I thought that was fun. And then when he showed up, he was a bodybuilder. He never mentioned that. Right. And he was so huge and and shorter and had no neck, and it was like really. I, I was. Did like, you giggle a little bit when you met him? Actually, my roommate was watching television in the other room, and for a split second, I thought like I could I could take him. Yeah, you could see that. This she, is actually the yeah. biggest regret of my life is that I didn't walk him to the front and say like, "Oh, Judy, man." This is Judy. Yeah, yeah. and then like run for my life. You're married now, anyway, aren't you? <laughs> Almost. Oh really? Yeah, I'm getting closer. What, to getting you, married. I'm engaged. I'm all right, married. I, I thought, like, have you met someone? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I've decided to get married, and as soon as I, I meet someone, I am, I'm totally married. That guy. Yeah, no, I'm engaged. Well, that's so congratulations. That. That's yeah. fantastic. Are you, do you have a big wedding plan? I'm in the process of figuring out my wedding. Right. Yeah, May I suggest something to you? Are you? I'm sure you're getting a lot of suggestions for different weddings. I am. Well, here's one that I think you should do. What? Underwater. Uh, <laughs> I am not a strong swimmer. Right, so it'll be so. a fast ceremony then, you just <laughs> boom and you're out. It's not the worst idea someone's had. What's the worst idea someone's had? Um, don't like not to get like not to get married. Someone was like, "Why would you get married?" Like that's the to well, me. That's, that that's just I know crazy. that's not. The one person had a good idea. They said I should do like a high school dance in a gym. That was a friend of mine. She was. I know. <laughs> Well, a, a idea. I think that's, that's a, a little, fun idea. Well, no, look, there's a lot of these people that are going to be over 40 years old, relatives and stuff like that. Yeah. They're going to be dressed as high schoolers. That's a yeah. little creep. Oh, I didn't really think of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good and, point. and then, did you enjoy high school? Think it I through. hated almost every single yes, second of it. Yes, that's like, right. And now, do you think you're in the it. minority or in the majority? No, probably in the minority, yeah. Oh, you think most people enjoy high school? Well, I think that my friends all like seemed like they were really popular in high school. That's why I wanted to be friends with them, because it seemed like, uh, you know, like I now get to be friends with the popular kids. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I know. All I remember is I was in high school. I had these dreadlocks. I smoked Paul. Yeah, time. yeah. I think that was me. I can't remember. You I was can't so remember. High. You were so cool. Were, were you were you a nerdy person or a jockey person? That's only the two. I was like artsy craftsy person. Artsy craftsy, sort of yeah. like Barbara, not Barbara, uh, Martha uh, Stewart. Yeah, but like with bigger hair, like much bigger. <laughs> Bigger yeah. than Martha. Oh my God, my really? hair was like crazy. Where did you, where did you grow had, up? In Detroit. Well, it's like a, a little hair, suburb. Big hair. No, it was like unavoidable with the type of hair I have. I have like it almost was dreadlocks. It was like really big. Did you try washing the dreadlocks out, or did you? It was suggested to me by my mother, but I don't like to do what my mother tells me to do. So <laughs> at least I didn't I back then. So you're a naughty girl. I was. I was a naughty, artsy, craftsy girl. I used to sew my own clothes because um, I couldn't find clothes that fit me for so long. Why were you I oddly was like, shaped? I had like a... <laughs> I had like a...
like an insane growth spurt, like up, but not out. So I was really tall and oh, like. You know, that's an awkward. That happened to me. I was a fat kid, and then I suddenly was a very. Up. Yeah, I just but felt like I was like. Catch up with and you. Then, I know. And yeah. Then you know, like, I know. No, it was weird. And my, I, my, I kept bumping into things, and my eyes were kind of like, whoa, like that. I had my head all the time. Yeah, I, I still do. No, like, I had no idea, like, how tall I had gotten. Yeah, so I know. I, like, you bump into things, and I, I come from a country where we live in burrows. <laughs> Scotland. You've I never been there? Oh, it. well, no. when you go, you, maybe that's where you should go for your wedding. Holy buckets, that would be crazy. Whoa. <laughs> you watch your language on this show, young lady. Why? Uh, that's not the kind of talk we encourage around here. I know. <laughs> hey, uh, we're out of time, holy buckets. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what do you want? You want, a, you want a mouth organ? You want an awkward pause? Or you want to go for the big cash? Break? I was thinking awkward pause. Okay, that's fine. You can go for an awkward pause. Awkward pause with subtext or no subtext? Subtext. Subtext. Sexual subtext? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, aggressive, uh, passive aggressive, or I've got something weird up my nose. I'm thinking that you've got something weird up your nose. Okay. <laughs> How do you think it went? Thought it was pretty good, pal. Yeah. That's Seth, uh, Seth Rogen. I think he, uh, I think he enjoys the pot. <laughs> what were we talking about? <laughs> you you're a robot. <laughs> I know, man. <laughs> hey, hey. Lesbians, man. Lesbians. Right there, man. Good night.